Hey everybody, welcome to another review. Uh, right now I'm actually uh, got a request to test out SpyBot and uh, decided I was going to do a quick review on it. If uh, SpyBot's actually a fairly old uh, program and I guess they're testing out an, a new beta uh, right now so we're going to have to see in the future how it does but um, they, uh, the person that requested it just wants to see how it does. Uh, right now, if you notice, my computer's running slower than it normally does. That's because uh, there's a backup running in the background right now, and uh, with all these things popping up, uh, you know, virtual machine taking up a lot of stuff. <clears throat> now, the one thing um, that uh, I remember from when using SpyBot when I used to use it is nobody, everybody said, "Don't use T Timer." So we're gonna leave that off for now, and we're gonna take off, create a quick launch icon. So we're going to install it. Oh, hold on, i got to turn on my networking card. Okay, so I decided to stop the, uh, the backup because it was really taking up a lot of the CPU. And... Uh, there we go. Now it should be updating. So what I'm going to do is um, I have I think like 10 or so URLs right here and uh, after I install it, because SpyBot isn't made to prevent anything in reality, it's made to remove I'm going to run these in Internet Explorer and do a full scan with SpyBot and see how much of this stuff he can get rid of. I got some Trojans, some Rogues, um, all sorts of little uh, happy fun things to test today. I wish their update server was maybe a little bit faster. It's pretty slow here. I'm not going to create a registry backup. I am going to search for updates here. So I'm going to let it uh, download all the updates that it needs. Okay, so the updates uh, should be done. I'm not going to immunize it because that just mess, messes with the host file and I've noticed that immunizing um, at least on SpyBot tends to uh, slow the computer down a little bit and I'm not going for blocking websites I'm going for how to it can remove how well it removes things so let's get infected here just gonna go real quick through these because there's uh, nothing should be stopping anything right now Okay, that one's got 
going to take a little bit to download. that fun antivirus pro again 2010 I'm just gonna cancel that out because it takes too long it takes like five minutes to download I'm just gonna wait for these to finish there's two of them here once these are done I am going to restart the computer and then uh, if I can get back in the computer and in run SpyBot. If not, uh, I can try to get to it through um, safe mode or something like that. I just want to see how well it can remove um, infections. I have no idea what this one is. Oh, it's an advanced virus remover. It's a rogue. There we go. Okay, so I'm infected right now. I am going to restart uh, the virtual machine and I will be right back. Okay, uh, it's restarted here. We got uh, something trying to run, so uh, we'll, we'll run whatever that is. Oh, yeah, it's uh, antivirus. Okay, let's uh, pop up SpyBot Search and Destroy here. Just uh, X out of that. Okay, so now we will check for problems. And uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to pause the video while this is scanning and I will be back to see what it finds. Okay, um, the scan's not done yet, but I did get a little pop-up from uh, SpyBot Search and Destroy. It says it uh, recommends that you reboot and scan again. So if you want to do this, you click yes. You wait until the scan is finished. You let it clean the pro uh, problems found. You uh, save your documents and reboot. So I'm going to click yes, and it's going to continue on its scan. As you can see, it already found a decent amount of stuff. So uh, I'm going to let the scan continue. Back in a second. Okay, uh, SpyBot finished. So uh, you can see it found a decent amount of stuff. It's found some uh, files and um, also found some registry keys here and there. So we're going to fix these. And um, after they're fixed, I'm going to restart. Okay, I'm going to restart. And uh, I'm actually going to start a new video before I restart. So uh, I'll see you in video two.